Hi guys, I'm Roxy on Sugar and I am bringing you today a very nice recipe for breakfast or even for dinner if you like. Banana oatmeal pancakes. The ingredients for the banana oatmeal pancakes are two cups of oats. This is a big box and it contains two bags of oats. The bags are not as comfortable for me to serve the oats elsewhere. So what I do is this. I repurpose this container, this pretzel container, and fill it up with oats. And I put a measuring cup inside so it's easier for me to move the oats from one place to the other. Three eggs, three bananas, and they should be ripe, it's better. I only have two that are ripe and this one is okay, but I'm just gonna add it to the mix. One quarter of salt. We are also going to need one cup of milk. Your favorite milk, if you like 1%, 2% um, regular milk or almond milk, it's up to you. One of the reasons why I enjoy so much the banana oatmeal is because the oats are full of soluble fiber. They are extremely nutritious and good for your body. Because it has so much fiber, it can relieve constipation, lower your cholesterol, and improve blood sugar, and, <laughs> and more. They are super rich in antioxidants. Another thing about the oatmeal is that it is very filling and that may help you lose weight. Yes. And for all of us that care very much about our skin, oatmeal is excellent for your skin as well. So oatmeal is one of those foods that have so many, so many, so many um, positives that we cannot ignore in our diet. And oh my gosh, the bananas, they are full of potassium. And whoo, you know what I'll do? I'll put in the description box all the properties that I can find about bananas so you can read about it and have it for your own consumption. Let's continue with the recipe. We're going to need a blender. I'm gonna start by pouring the oats, then the milk. Make sure you wash your hands before you do this. A tiny bit of salt. That's one quarter teaspoon. We're going to close our blender and turn it on. Once this is ready, I'm going to put this on the side. And now we can start thinking about what would we like to put in our mixture 
as an um, optional ingredient and I am going to show you the options. You could add now some tracings if you like or dates. If you add dates, make sure that they don't have the seed. You can cut them like this in little pieces. And then add them to the mixture. Also, you could add some honey or raisins, but um, the raisins after as the other ingredients. And these two optional ingredients as well. You will like to add it before you blend everything, which is cinnamon and vanilla. Although the cinnamon could be added before or after. So here we have the three that you will add before you blend everything and the three that you will add after you blend everything. I am going to turn on the stove and we're gonna put a little bit of butter in here so the mixture doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Maybe it was too much, oh, we'll see. Another thing is that I am using one of those non-stick uh, pans. And if you want your non-stick pan to last you a long time, do not use this type of um, spoons or forks or anything, not metal, because it will, it will scratch the bottom of your pan. So that's why I'm using wood. I am lowering the heat, maybe at six. And I'm gonna start pouring. I usually do it just by eye. I mean, just like that. This pan is a small. It's not that big. The pan is eight inches in diameter. You know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm gonna try to do the thing that the chefs do on TV. See if it comes out. Ah. I did it! Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. It came out well. There you go, I'm an expert now. <laughs> I'll share a trick with you. While you're cooking, you can take two pans. The one that you're using, you know, the one that is in the heat and another one. So when it's ready on one side, your pancake, you're gonna flip it into the other pan and then slide it into the pan that you're cooking on. Let's see if I have lock again. Oh, yes. Well, it's not cooked quite yet there, so let's flip it again. Oh, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. It's, it's flipping without a problem. So this is the way you can do with two pans. See here, you're gonna flip it like that. And then you just pass it again. And then that way you don't have to try to flip it like I did with the same uh, pan. But hey, if you're a little bit adventurous, go ahead and do it. It's a lot of fun. And this one is ready. And I'm gonna use the half size measuring cup to measure how much I'm gonna put in the pan. 
I am going to add some lacings. Put a little bit of, um, that's too hot. The butter is evaporating too fast. So let's bring down the fire. The heat. And I am going to pour it. The reason why I don't like to use a measuring cup to pour the mixture is because I end up with a lot of um, leftover in the measuring cup. And the way I usually like to do it is just pouring directly from the blender into the pot. You can also flip it with a spoon. And this is how the banana oatmeal pancakes came out. They came out adorable, very, very cute. And at the end, with the little bit of um, mixture that I have left, I made a tiny little pancake. Isn't that adorable? And it's there to decorate the rest. Now, I am gonna show you how you can eat it. Like you can eat it the way it is, but you can also put toppings on it to make it even more interesting if you want, or more tasty. Yogurt, you can add yogurt right on top of your pancake. You can also add berries if you like, or strawberries. You can slice them and add them to your banana oatmeal um, pancake and it's gonna be delicious. You can add to the strawberries, you can add or the yogurt or you can add some Cool Whip if you want and it will be good too. Or if you, this is the, the way that I prefer, <laughs> is um, adding a little bit of honey on top of my pancake simple but very very tasty you can also put some sliced pieces of bananas and then you just put them on top of your pancake and delicious and you can also use a little bit of cinnamon you can actually do a mixture of honey and cinnamon it's gonna be very very good i hope you like this recipe and I would love to know from you, what did you think when you make it? Was it good? Did you end up not liking it? Did you love it? Tell me because I would love to know. And also, were you able to flip them in the pan? <laughs> I would love to know that too. I hope you enjoy very much your healthy breakfast and I'll see you in another video. See you soon. Bye-bye.